Do you miss March Madness? Yeah, we do too. What better way to get your bracket fixed than by reliving some of the all-time great moments of the tournament? And in the latest edition of Thurl Talk Podcast at KSLSports.com, Big T reminisces about his improbable championship run with Coach Jimmy V and NC State. And we knew that they were about to bring in this new guy that they had just hired. We didn't know him. We heard he came from some school called Iona, and we didn't know much about that. So he walks in the door, and I remember kind of peeking up from my arms crossed, don't want to hear it position, looked around me, and nobody else was really looking up either. Because basically what our body language was saying was we didn't want to hear it. Right, our coach had just taken off. We don't know you, guy. We don't know who you are. We just know... You know, you're some six-foot-two Italian guy who used to coach at another school, and now you want to come in here and take this team over. Well, we don't trust you. We don't know you. He said, first of all, my name is Coach Balvano. I'm your new coach. You guys can call me Coach. You can call me V. He said, but I want you to look at me. I want to tell you about my dream. He said, I know that I'm going to win a national championship. He said it with all the confidence in the world. Guys, I know I'm going to win one. I've dreamt about it. I know it's going to happen. And if I can get you to see what I'm seeing, to dream what I'm dreaming, I know we can get there. One of our practices, our first practices with him, the assistant coaches have us in there getting warmed up, and Coach Valvano's running a little bit late, and he walks in with a ladder under his arms. And he walks over underneath the basket, and he puts the ladder underneath the hoop, and he reaches in his pocket, and he pulls out these gold pair of scissors that we had seen on his desk before. And he says, guys, today, all we're going to do for the next two hours is we're going to practice cutting down the nets. You're going to take these scissors, cut your piece of net down, and I'm going to go up last, cut the net down, put it over my neck, and you guys are going to pick me up and carry me around this 12,000-seat empty Reynolds Coliseum, and you're going to pretend like you just won a national championship. How would that feel? What would you do? What would that be like? We find ourselves in a national championship game with a team. You look them up. Just, just Google Phi Slamma Jamma, led by Hall of Famer Clyde Drexler, led by Hall of Famer Hakeem Olajuwon. I swear, when we first saw them, I thought it was an NBA team masquerading as college kids. Seven seconds left on the clock. I get the ball in the left corner. So I threw a baseball pass right before half court. I mean, Derek was way out there. Derek Wittenberg reaches out and grabs it and heaves up. But everybody can see is going to be short, an air ball. As that ball floated towards the rim, my team made on the opposite side of the rim, the late, great Lorenzo Charles, reaches up, grabs it, dunks it in. We're all looking around like, what just happened? Fans are starting to rush the floor. I fall to my knees because we had just beat one of the greatest teams in college basketball history. A Cinderella team who got nicknamed the Cardiac Kids. It was a surreal scene. We had done the impossible. And this is the point where the team's kind of gathering around. The NCAA official comes over with a box with a pair of scissors in it. And as he walks over, I see Coach Valvano's hand go up, kind of halting him in his tracks. He reaches in his pocket and he pulls out the gold pair of scissors we had practiced with. The awkward practices of cutting down the net, trying to get us to visualize what that would look like, feel like. We felt like we had been there before. 